Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. To Havana City, the pleasure dome, come fellas with wives so far from home. The tender sea breeze all worries erase And whispers the comforts of Shannon's place Oh, Shannon's place is a sight to see Bamboo shades all plastic upholstery And balconies to get close to the moon And to shovel in the food a silver spoon <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man What you folks got here is a pot of honey Wild, wild honey. That's how we impress you, huh, Mr. Brennan? You especially, Queenie. You don't mind if I call you a private part of honey, Queenie, do you, Mr. Shannon? Now, there's a question that's never been asked of me before. Answer the southern gentleman, Slate. He asked, do you mind if he calls me a pot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mind. Next question. You just won an unbroken arm, Slate. Oh, good. Now, that is good. <laughs> well, I wanted to feel out the kind of a man you are before I talk business with you. Now that you've felt Slate out, what kind of a man is he? A gentleman. Protects his woman's honor. A man can do business with a man like that. Now... Now, for 300 Yankee dollars, all you got to do is... A refined gent like you spoils the drape of a seersucker with $300? When the occasion demands it, lady, uh, for the aforesaid money, all you got to do is to take your little old boat and pick up my client off of a freighter around 4 p.m. S.S. Paloma, 14 hours out of Miami, sailing the Caribbean Sea and payment in advance. Do it like you said, Dixie, in advance. Three spanking new hundred-dollar pretty. You cotton to the deal? Yeah. Yeah, we cotton. Who do we ask for? You ask me a question I can't answer, and it don't bother me. For 300 it don't have to bother you neither. Give him back the money, Slate. Now, wait just a minute. This client made contact with me through a native, paid my fee, asked me no questions, and told me no lies. All the gentleman wants, I was told, is to get off of the freighter. He's sick of the smell of it under his feet. Shall we give him back the money, Slate? Your head going to fat? Where else could we pick up three C-notes with so little pain? You said it, Mr. Shannon. No pain. Hardly no pain at all. (laughs) I couldn't get... You to row this tub, could I, Stella? Big man from the south like you asking a lady to do a thing like that? What's the matter, Dixie? Don't you like to take me rowing in the park? Love it good. Put your mind to it, Stella. Forget about this Louis Gasper. Forget it? Man like that? Woman like me? (laughs) You're a baby boy when you talk like that, Dixie. Guy's deported from the States. Guy's been shipped to Argentina guy like that, what's he going to give you? A slot machine comes up three lemons every time? What's Argentina got for you? You know Louie's not going to Argentina. Havana's as far as he goes. Havana and me. Louie, me, and Havana. Uh, And that's what I arranged at Shannon's place tonight, huh? Dear boy, dear, dear boy. You figure it's going to work? Louie would give you a hundred to one. And if Louie would, I would. Once more around the lake, dear boy. Well? There she is, sailor, the S.S. Paloma. 
Hey, Paloma means dove, doesn't it? So? So that SS is the dirtiest dove I ever saw. Let's not go near it. It's liable to rub off on the Bold Venture. For $300, we'd go over to the Bold Venture with burnt cork. Cut your motor, sailor. Thanks. Paloma, ahoy! Ahoy! Power boat Bold Venture to pick up passenger. You too. I'll show you a line. Got it. Here's the rope. Tie it up, sailor. No, oh, thank you, Slate, for your many gifts. I don't mention it. Up the ladder, mister. See you, sailor. You stay here. Are you the skipper? Captain Lane. I'm Slate Shannon. Where's my passenger? He'll be along. Who is he? I said he'd be along, mister. Yeah. Yeah, you did, didn't you? How come he's not ready? Didn't he know about this transfer? He knew. Come on. Maybe he needs a hand with his gear. Right. I want to get back to Havana before dark. Little trouble with my running lights. Don't worry about it. This cabin. You ready, Mr. Gasper? This the man? Name's Slate Shannon. And this is... Don't bother with the rest of it. This guy is Louis Gasper. I scan the papers from time to time. Gambler, huh? Just got yourself tossed out of the States, huh? <laughs> All 48, senor. And territorial possessions overseas. The jackpot. I've been lousy shaking your hand, Louis. Get yourself another boat, not mine. This heart of mine bleeds for that head of yours, senor. Captain? Yeah. Uh, gracias, Captain. I do things like that for money. No thanks necessary. Let's take a look at the guy. Yeah. This Shannon's loaded with identification. You don't need it. See? Si. What about the girl in the boat? You ask me a question about a girl? <laughs> what about her? Senor, senor, with girls there is charm. I will take care of her nicely. And she will respond. A small wager, Captain? Uh-uh. Not with you. No wager. <laughs> it's too bad. Uh, do with this, senor Shannon, Captain. I will do with the lucky senorita. Adios. <laughs> This is Havana, Mr. Gaspar. Fine food, good accommodations, and exceptional mortuary facilities. May I suggest you avail yourself of all of them? And the suggestion to you, Hermosa. Tie up this boat of yours. Here. Here is the rope. Bend down, Mr. Gaspar, and I'll tie an ascot on your neck. The boat. Tie it. Aye, aye, rat. Now what? Off the boat, quickly. Look, why don't you stop shoving that gun in my back? How am I going to explain a red circle on my skin to my maid? Cut it out, will you? Wait. I said wait. Hey, look what's coming. Go after her, Louie. Go ahead. I'll bet you'll drop a handkerchief and you can pick it up and be mischievous and everything. Louie! Louie, is that you? Ah, si, Stella. Mi alma, Stella. Everything all right, Doc? Who's she? There she was with the man, Shannon. I don't know who you are, lady, but why don't you tell this guy what the barrel of a gun does to a girl's complexion? Make him stop and we'll be girlfriends. There. How's that for something jolly for us to be? Well, Shannon, huh? Well, I've heard about her, Louis. Helps him run a hotel called Shannon's Place. He's telling. Yes. Until we hear that her senor Shannon is taken care of, be the senorita's girlfriend, eh? If she tries to move from your sight... <laughs> well, senorita Duval, uh, do not make us make you bloody. <laughs> Wake up, bully boy. Uh, Wake up, Shannon. Uh, well, let me alone. Let me sleep if that's what I've been doing. On your feet, bully boy. On your feet. I'll wait till the hurt in my head lifts, Buster, then I'll... I'll lift it for you, mister. Hey, what? You asked me for something, mister. I gave it to you. I'm still on the Paloma, huh? You remember the smell, bully boy. You tasted the blood on your lips. That'd make it the Paloma. What'd you do with Sailor, Mr. Val, the girl I left in my boat? I'll tell you what I did. I didn't take a bet with Gaspar that he could charm her like a bird off a tree. I didn't take it because I'd lose. I get sick when I lose. 
And that's what I did with your Miss Duval. Welcome aboard the Dove, Mr. This is where you usually get tired of people like me, Captain, in Santa Domingo? Wherever the mood strikes me, bully boy. Just walk easy and soft on the gangway. That way McCrew will be spared scrubbing off your bloodstains. Off the ship's gangway onto the dock. Just for the record, my identification papers, the ones you and Gasper rolled me for, where are they? You want an identity, mister? Well, I'll give you one. Me and the plainclothesman waiting for you there. The one with the ivory toothpick hanging from his waistcoat. The one who just put it to his teeth? Picks a nice gold tooth, doesn't he? Oh, you'll love many things about him. Carbato, he's yours. Five minutes, gracias, Captain May. Never have I taken from the hands of a man such as you such an illustrious criminal. You will be revolted by our treatment of you, Senor Louis Caspar. If you didn't have that toothpick in your mouth, I'd swear you were talking to me. He makes phonies, huh, Captain? He makes quips, this Louis Caspar, whom no one wants. You have these papers. Hey, what is it? Right here, right here. I'm sorry I have to trouble you with the scum, Corbata, but home office wired us a change of route. Look, slob, I'm not Gasper. I'm Slate Shannon, your bully boy here shanghaied me, stripped my identification, planted Gaspers on me. Look at me. Do I look like Gasper? I have never seen him. Any little while, I hope to never see you again. Your wrist, Louis Gasper, so I can embrace them with these tender handcuffs. Yeah, my wrist. Pick your teeth on this one, slob. Hey, he's getting away from me, Cabado. I do not let the dog run without hurt. Alto! Alto, I shoot! Thank you for letting me shoot you, Louis Gosper. You hit him, bully boy. You hit him. He's running into the sea. He's going to run off the dock into the sea. Vengo, I make a come. I'm going after him. Oh, don't be a slob, bully boy. Look at the blood he left on your porch dock. He's bleeding heavy. He won't have the strength. Let him die. Save the town the expense. Let him die. You think? I think. The man's dead. Why dampen your britches for a dead man? Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. I don't understand you at all, Lady Sailor. King, what's not to understand? I'm telling you to take the evening off. See, si, see, si, take off the evening. Get the breezes. Inhale, exhale, fill the lungs. Take the night off, King Moses. Very good, Lady Sailor. Eh, bueno, bueno. Now we will be comfortable, Miss Doval. Eh, the three of us. Don't sound so happy about it. Oh, Stella, mi alma. Ah, Stella, mi alma, me back. Why don't you look at me the way you look at her? We both wear size 12. <laughs> A little wager, Stella, that you are size 14. I'll get it. Hello? Hey, give that to me. Hello? See? Si. See, si, this is Louis Gaspar. Oh? See, si, I got it. Hey. Thank you, Captain. Stella? Yes? Captain Lane on the phone from Ciudad Trujillo in Santo Domingo. A man named Louis Gaspar was shot to death trying to escape authorities. Which means that Slade Shannon is a dead man. Adios, Miss Duval. There is no longer need of you. Que? Que quiere? What do you want? Open. Yeah. Open. Que ne? Suicide? Who are you? Please. Open. I'm a friend. Go away! Andale, andale, go! Go! Not us, Queen. 
Can you read? I'm, I'm hurt. I don't always look like this. It's just that, uh, that I'm hurt. Oh, I help you. Soldier, bill of goods, huh? Thanks. No, you better not touch me. Oh. I, I could spoil your pretty dress. Oh, my husband will buy me another. Venga, come. I help you. Ah, that chair looks restful. I've had dreams about soft chairs like that. No, my husband's chair. You will not sit upon it. You will lie on the floor where I can clean up after you. (laughs) I've had dreams about hard floors, too. Yeah. Yeah, just like in the dream. Where's your husband? Let me talk to him. I'll explain how all I want from you is a trip to Havana. My husband is away. He will be gone for many months. That's too bad. What am I saying? Shannon, you're delirious. Shannon? You call yourself Shannon? But you are Luis Gaspar, the criminal with bullet holes. The authorities have told us to bolt and lock our doors against you. You are desperate, they say. <sighs> Just get me to Havana. Hey, there is great reward for Luis Gaspar. I'll give you more in Havana. I'll get my friends to pass the tambourine. I'll... Uh, I'll... When I wash you and wash your face, you will be pretty, Chico, my lindo. Very pretty. (laughs) Senorita Duval. It tickles me how you come to my office to make the ho-ha phonies with me. It's much better than a feather under my nose when I sleep in a hammock. You got cops to tell to that kind of duty, LaSalle? I tell you it was Slate who was killed. Gaspar is in Havana, and I want him dead. You could arrange that for me, couldn't you, LaSalle? On the word of the Santo Domingo police, Louis Gaspar the gambler was shot and drowned in Ciudad Torillo. I've never begged, LaSalle. They planned it that way. Kidnapped Slate. Made them think Slate was Gaspar. Got him killed. And Gaspar is walking the streets in Havana. There is a thing in law, senorita. You cannot bring charges of murder when there is no dead body in evidence. Translation? Translation. Bring me the body of Shannon and I will search for the man Gaspar. Even though Gaspar is already dead. I'll bring you a body, LaSalle. It might even be yours. King, King, play something happy, will you? Mm-hmm. I said cut it out. I don't want to hear music like that. If you said it, I did not hear it. This of Mr. Slade... King, what do you think? He did. You don't know what you're talking about. I know, you know. Friends die, Lady Sailor. Friends, dreams, sweethearts, these die. This I cannot change, nor you. I don't know. Feeling, I guess. Slate, dead. How am I supposed to believe that and convince myself of it? How? What will you do, Lady Sailor, if Mr. Slate don't come back? Do? I don't know. With who Slate... Is, who? Please, who is Sailor Duval? Please, please go. Come back. Sometime. A man who called himself Slate Shannon on my husband's fishing boat, the, the Juanita, at the docks for the yellow way down. Slate, Slate, where are you? Stop making so much noise, sailor. I'm sick. Hi, sailor. I said hi. Yeah, you're sick, all right. What are you doing sitting there with a flower behind your ear? (laughs) That girl insisted. Said it would ward off evil spirits. I'm hurt. I was shot through the shoulder. Slate, I was worried. I was so worried. They said you were... You were... Oh, cut it out, will you? Leave me alone. Oh, just cut it out. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping you'd act foolish like this. 
I don't feel this way at all. This is just a big act. Nah, you're doing fine. Just fine. I promised the cell I'd deliver him a body. Wait till he sees it's yours. <sighs> So La La Salle didn't believe you, huh? You thought it was really Louis Gasper who was shot in San Domingo. Mr. Val! Slate, that's Stella. Oh, hi, Stella. I've got one arm in a sling. Maybe you ought to try for a guy with two. You're Slate Shannon, aren't you? Taylor, why don't you go tell Inspector La Salle the happy news? Or you'll deliver a body tomorrow. Chowder head. This is the woman who was with Louis Gaspar. That's right, honey. Gaspar wants you, Shannon. Oh, and I want him. Get in. After me, Slate. First of all, Senor Shannon, several things. Welcome to my apartment and my congratulations for being alive. Makes you happy, huh? Makes you want to slap me on the back. Now, let me give you several things, Louis. I accept your congratulations, and what makes you think I won't turn you over to the cops? If you think he talks brave now, Louis, you ought to see him when his arm's not in a sling. I've been standing here picturing it. I can arrange a broken arm for you, Stella, and you and Slate will be evenly matched. <laughs> what would you wager that she could do it, Stella? With her muscles. Cut it out, sailor. Why should we let Louis win a bet? Do you hear what she said about me? She said I had muscles. Now, what does she know? Louis, how do we go to the cops in Stella's car or a taxi? A senora taxi would be magnifico. Uh, here is fare. Ten thousand dollars. Count it. Ten thousand dollars. You're buying me, Louis? Slate. What? Ten thousand dollars. Uh-huh. Sell. Uh, understand, it's not a matter of buying. It is just uh, my token of appreciation for senor Slate's uh, getting me declared dead. Well, ten grand takes care of sailors worrying about me, but how about that slug through my shoulder? Oh, see, si, see, si, of course. <laughs> this I forgot. Uh, five more, which includes your keeping mum with the police. Mum's my word. What's your word, Slate? Here's your money, Louis. Let's get to the cops. I'm disappointed. You are a fool. Here, Louis, take this gun. Gracias. Use it. Uh, I admire you, Slate. I would hate to kill you like this. And why aggravate yourself? Uh, Slate, tell me, are you a gambling man? Sometimes. With the dice? Uh-huh. I've seen it done. Bueno. Like this. These dice. We will roll for a high number, eh? What's the stakes? If you lose, you will walk out of here free with the money, but with your word that you will not go to the police. If those dice aren't loaded, I'm liable to win, Louis. If you win, senor, you die. Thus preserving your integrity as a word keeper. As I've heard it said, Louis, roll them. Si. <laughs> it's a 12. You can be that, Shannon. You can only make a tie. Give them to me. Perhaps you will be fortunate, Shannon. One of the dice turns up a six while the other still spins. Yeah, look at it. See? Si. Yeah, keep your eye right on us. Si. <coughs> stupid one, I'm in a sling, you stupid. Yeah, real stupid. Louis! <coughs> Stella, pick up the gun, you. How's your chance, sailor? Gee, thanks. <coughs> Bye, Stella. I just mind, Slade, how you coming with yours. Coming up! <coughs> <sighs> You all right, sailor? Uh Uh-huh. I told you I have a right cross. Now I believe myself. (laughs) What I tell you about your muscles? Call the cops, sailor, then we can go home. Hey, sailor. What do you want? Here, I brought you something. Go ahead, open it. Oh, you shouldn't have. (laughs) Open it. Huh? You like it? 
A rope. What did you buy me a rope for? Oh, it's a special kind of rope. I'm supposed to throw it up in the air, huh? It stays there, and you climb up and disappear. No, it's a skipping rope. You'll need it for the training. Training? Training for what? Oh, with a right cross like yours, you're a natural for the golden gloves. Who has to train? I can spot you 50 pounds and score a TKO. Show me. Put up your dukes, killer. Uh Uh-huh. Round one. Groggy. Round two. You quit? You kidding? I'm a slow starter, sailor. Watch yourself from round 11 on. And so, our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.